Hey Libra, how are you doing? This reading is for Libra for the week of August the 5th to the 11th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Libra, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Just click the link. It will go to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on? For the fabulous and most beautiful balanced babes what do you need to know what do you need to see for your highest good present time the eight of wands aries leo sagittarius energy i just heard i have lots to do so you might have a lot on your plate or you're just moving fast quickly what's coming towards you is the six of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy not surprised to see the six of cups as we are in a mercury retrograde what you are focused on is the truth but staying level-headed queen of swords gemini libra aquarius energy typical court card for the queen of swords is libra in your blocked and challenged position you have the empress major arcana for libra taurus and your outcome is the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy okay libra let's clarify this and find out what is going on at the bottom of the deck you have the high priestess which is sacred knowledge and wisdom that you carry pay attention to your intuition trust your gut feelings that can also be mystery secrecy or an illusion like What's being hidden behind the veil of illusion? Or is this something that you're looking into? Because in your blocked and challenged position, if this is you and you're dealing with another air sign, or you could be dealing with somebody who is extremely or heavily judgmental or very critical at what it is that you're doing or where, where you're going in life. So you could be very quiet and private at this time. There could also be something being hidden from you. So here it's like you're left out of a situation. Because the Empress energy is about commitment, but it is about mother as well. Or a need for you, as I was saying, I have so much to do. This is a need for you to jump on your feminine energy. So a more of taking action, taking action, taking action. You're always taking action. And therefore, you're like, well, why do I not have any help? Well, you have to get in the receptive mode to receive. So there's something about receiving. Eight of Wands is about good news worth celebrating, but it's fast um, travels or communications. This is also high vibrational energy. So somebody could be coming to see you quickly. It could actually have something to do with the past person. Could be a friend, a family member. And maybe you're like, oh, I got to get my house clean. Like, you know, this person's coming over or it's just something. Like I got to handle this quickly or it's travel plans. Let's see what this Eight of Wands is. And the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Well, that's spicy, but it speaks of creativity, enthusiasm. It's like you're running with some kind of creative art or excitement. That's also passion, attraction. And with that wand, it's a power of, like it's a very empowering energy or a stick of power. And what's coming toward you is the Six of Cups is like nostalgic thoughts of the past or you're revisiting old plans that you had in the back of your mind and now you want to execute them. It can also be taking a lighter approach. So, you know, even this Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords could be taking things a little bit too seriously or personally. So take a lighter approach. There also could be somebody who is... Um, light, innocent, youthful around you. This could also be about children. So running around children. Yeah, you're a mother here. But at the end of the day, or a father, whatever. Not gender specific. It's just a female on the card. But the Six of Cups can also just be letting your inner child out to play. Like allowing yourself to play, to have fun, to be flexible. 
There also could be some kind of communication that you need to get off your chest. Again, with the high priestess, like you're keeping something private. And the four of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the four of wands is about reuniting with friends, family, loved ones. So that's what I was saying. It's like, oh, I got to get my house cleaned up because somebody's coming over. Um, this can also be like some quick trip where you are reuniting or going to a wedding or some kind of celebration. But this also speaks of the 1111 card. So something you have manifested. This is your abundance rolling in. And you worked hard on it. But it can also be freedom from something of your past. And taking, like I said, a new approach. Or there's something new and exciting for you. Strength card. Inner strength. But healing. Queen of Swords is that open and receptive to conversation, but I'm not really putting up with a lot of garbage. And just be very mindful that you're not being so heavily judgmental towards yourself or things don't have to be perfect. I'm getting like kind of like a perfectionism coming off of you. Like um, you're worried about what other people think of you or worried about how you show up to this event or something like that. Just take a light approach. There could also be something you're worried about, about a person being at this, like, um, celebration. And the world. Major Arcana for the fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. Yeah, and that's about you tying up loose ends. So if there's any kind of um, paperwork that you need to handle or get out of the way, but that can also be travel plans, like getting some kind of great advice or insight. And this could be somebody at a distance that you are communicating with. So maybe like for some of you, you are making travel plans and then you're going to some kind of an event where you haven't been... Um, or you haven't seen this person in a while. Knight of Wands, again, travel, vacation, journey. This can also be moving into a new home. There could also be somebody coming again to stay with you. But this is about like tying up loose ends and the card of victory. And see how you're like freedom and freedom. Okay, now I've freed up my time. I have a lot to do here. But just don't be so harsh to yourself. Like... People actually don't care. We care more than what other people actually care about us. So again, if you're cutting out some kind of situation, like wrapping up some kind of karmic cycle and freeing up your energy, that's great. So you're not going to go in a repetitive, redundant cycle with another person over and over and over again. It's like something new has caught your eye. And this is about being spontaneous and being more flexible. There could also be an energy outside of you that maybe you only have a couple days off and this person has more like flexibility, like a week off. So an energy here about, you know, wrapping up some kind of um, tying up loose ends is what I'm getting. And here it's like, come correctly or don't come at all. This could also be you putting out something into the world, like your truth and expression. But again, it doesn't matter if you're trying to make it perfect and it doesn't have to be. You're perfectly imperfect just the way you are. So I'm getting like, you know, you being hypercritical towards yourself. But if you're dealing with another error sign, this person could be like heavily judgmental towards you. Like judging you for like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that, Libra? Or um, a fixed sign here. But in your blocked and challenged position, just make sure that you're doing the self-care and focusing on your health, wealth, and happiness. Because you could feel very drained at this time. And it could be drained from an environment, a drain from a job situation, or a drainage from, you know, people being very crucial or... There's somebody who is like seeking your validation and approval and you're just like, I don't have time for this. Like find your own way, right? This is a need for you not to give your power away. So feeling a little bit powerless or controlled in a situation. 
you know, sharp mind, but a sharp tongue. So there's somebody who could be very, um, like have a silver tongue here. So easy to lash, but I feel like it's just something about your self care. Like, I feel like you do have a lot going on. So let's see what this uh, Empress is about. It has something to do with like a commitment or a relationship that is um, not so closed out. So if some of you want to get out of some kind of commitment, be free from this. It's like it's not quite closed out yet. Or maybe your mother lives with you or there's somebody who is like um, an entrepreneur, a business owner. Or maybe that's you as well here, Libra. And the Nine of Swords. Wow. Yeah. So the Nine of Swords is restlessness, sleepless nights, needing more rest, needing more sleep. But in the blocked and challenged position, there could be somebody who is stressing out or thinking and thinking and overthinking and stressing again about a person, place or a situation when you don't need to. That could also be somebody stressing out like if you're going to see somebody, somebody wants to make sure this goes perfectly. And if you're not focusing on your body, your temple, like making sure you get your exercise in, making sure that you do something nice for yourself. Because the Empress is about creativity, like leaning back in this feminine energy and being open and receptive to help and to support. There also could be like um, an energy of giving birth to your dreams. But then you have a nine here. So some of you are um, becoming mothers. So see how it's like birthing something new. And there's like nine of swords, like nine months. Six of cups can be like child. So bringing baby home. Or there is somebody in your environment that is stressing about this. Like it could be a, a close friend. See how this is like good news worth celebrating, getting together with your gal pals, your buds, whatever. Letting loose, having fun. Or maybe that that's what you need. You need to let loose a little bit and have fun. But there's somebody who is like in your blocked and challenged position or you blocked some kind of commitment or possibly even a mother. Or, um, it could be a Taurus too. Taurus, Libra, Gemini. So like I was saying about the air sign, like um, somebody communicates a lot. In your outcome, you have that King of Cups. In this card, though, you see the King of Cups is holding the cards close to the chest. So not revealing your hand right away. This can also be you. Kind, compassionate, loyal, hardworking, very generous, highly intuitive this King of Cups is. It's going to be a friend also something to do with like medicine or medical anything to do with the field so you do have this like compassionate loving side of you and um sometimes when you possibly get a lot on your plate you get into this like a little bit of um uh, controlling or taking things seriously so uh, take a like more or more flowy approach And the two of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Do I give emotion to this or don't I give emotion to this? There could also be something about love being up in the air or confusing at this time. Like walking a tightrope. Yeah, emotions. This could also be scattered thinking, mixed emotions, mixed feelings. So like I said about... You could be getting in your head a little bit of like, oh my gosh, what is this person going to think of me? What is this, um, you know, how is it going to go? This can also be fantasy or an illusion, procrastination, or you're dealing with somebody who has mixed feelings or mixed emotion when it comes to love. And that's why you're stressing about this commitment. That queen of swords can also be somebody who is like ice cold. A divorcee or somebody who is unmarried and widowed. And so if you've been alone for a while, um, it's almost like you're afraid to let go of control or power. It's like a fear embedded into you. 
And with the two of pentacles, that's my all work and no play makes Johnny a doll boy. So a need for you to play, to have fun. You're missing that in your life. And it's something is slipping in your health here or not getting enough sleep. It's due to stress. Like it's almost like you're overworked. This is also pros and cons to a situation. So write down your pros, write down your cons. If there's more pros, proceed forward. If there's more cons, scrap it, let it go. Um, but I have to get things done. So see, this is like multitasking, going here, going there, and going everywhere. This is also somebody who is a multitasker. They make their life look easy. So they have multiple irons in the fire, but they're coming across as... A little bit emotional or something about your emotions are very turbulent which could come across of lashing out so just watch that again it has something to do with like needing to get back into this whether it's your health whether it's your stability a frustrating commitment or like a, a mother like somebody mother father your upbringing Surrender to the magic of who you are. And that's what I mean about like, this has to be perfect. I have to have this perfect. It doesn't have to be. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspect of life. Remember that you are magical. You are a magical being with unique and worth that comes from just being you. Yeah, this is a need for just being you. So don't mask anything, don't hide anything, or if you're keeping your cards close to your chest and think of like, oh, I'm going to throw people off and confuse people or, you know, um, I'm going to act really cold and reserved and really I'm ooey gooey, soft and chewy inside. You know, it's about like, where do I stand with this person? So somebody doesn't even know where they stand with you. So just be you because your uniqueness Um that comes from just being you is what's magical. Surrender resentment. Holding on to resentment only poisons you. Try to forgive others from for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. So moving towards positive influences, positive connections. And if you have any resentment or blame, shame, guilt of like, why did I listen to this person? Or why did I, you know, anything like that? Resentment only poisons you. So forgiveness, have forgiveness for yourself and have forgiveness for other people's shortcomings and, you know, people who drop the ball, you know, those people are just who they are. They're still on um, a learning lesson. We're all on a, we're all on this planet just winging it. So nobody really knows what they're doing. So again, just try to purge that as much as possible. Because this is like regretting some kind of commitment or stressing about some kind of commitment. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. And remember when I was like, get back into your body, your temple. It's like something about like um, you're overworked or you're... Um, depleting your own energy by doing so much or producing so much right now. Listen to your body's message about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So again, just weigh up your options here. And if somebody is draining your energy, you know, have limited interactions or limited time with this person surrender to play right there I feel like you need to take take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time for recreation and rejuvenation same thing with this emperor energy it, empress energy it's like um something is blocking your creativity or for really for you to shine and it could also be something about like I don't feel good enough. I don't feel pretty enough. Um, those kind of things. And you're unique here.
stop, uh, step away from the crazy making diet for one hot second. Kale spirulina tastes like ours. Eat some yummy shish, bacon, chocolate, beer, right? When you're going somewhere, it's like too strict. And sometimes when we're not getting the right nutrients in our body or if we're under eating or not getting enough water, yeah, it keeps us on, um, you need a full belly, like a really good meal. Shame, regret, guilt, those are just bullshit. Forgive, let that shish go. Yeah, so something about this resentment, like holding on to resentment, holding on to resentment or guilt, or guilt, blame, shame, and pointing fingers like it's all their fault. No, you're the creator of your reality. And for that said, it's like you had free will and choice in what position or connections you went into. Whether you overstayed in a connection or whatever happened in the situation, let it all go. Because again, it doesn't poison the other person. It's like trying to hand somebody poison um, and expecting them to, you know, die, but it's not. It's actually a piece of you that is. So don't let that happen. Effing apologize. Seriously, just do it. So, you know, could things could be listen, um, up in the air. Don't believe every shishy thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky little lying bastard. And let's just get some other cards here. Yeah. And you're like, well, why am I apologizing? I didn't do anything. It's about apologizing to yourself. So again, that forgiveness for self. I feel like you're being too mean to yourself. And it's actually keeping you more, um, a little bit stuck. Ram. A stubborn, aggressive person. Could also have somebody at a distance who is very stubborn and aggressive. This person's not changing their ways. This is who they are. Um, Ram can be uh, associated with Aries. It can also be Capricorn. Lily. Spiritual love. Yeah, focus on the connections that are loving and supporting. And here, like, you might have so much on your plate that you don't have time for love, but that's about you making time, making space for somebody to come into your life. And if somebody is, like, has lots of multiple irons in the fire and you're confused on where you stand with this person, this person puts work ahead of you, but they're also playing their cards close to their chest, right? Horse, short journey. So yeah, some of you need to, um, but you might have to go in an environment where there is a stubborn, aggressive person, like this person you feel like you're walking on eggshells with, could be a mother, father, and broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance right here, but that's when you get into that light, easy, innocent, fun, childlike energy. Where you just show up as your 10-year-old self. Of like carefree, careless, you know, just having a good time. I'm here for a good time. Quail, get back to the basics. Yeah, anything complex must go here, Libra. Com including connections, people, commitments. And wind chimes, peace and harmony. You have spiritual level and peace and harmony and short trip. But there's like a need for you to get back to the basics. Like get back to of simplifying and neutralizing things that are complex or that do drain your battery. And then have limited interactions with these people if they're like family or, you know, this could be like um, an empress could be like a grandmother you know, stressing about your grandmother, maybe your grandmother lives with you and you're just like, gosh, this is a, you know, a heavy responsibility. And then you have younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman. I always see this person as a pouty snot nosed brat. So someone very triggered. And then it says vine seek out information that will help you. So, um, needing for ask for help or support, but you know, you might be too prideful like your ego kind of is getting in the way of you asking for help or asking for advice or thinking that somebody younger than you doesn't know more but you'd be surprised you you would 
leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and Libra. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can see the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.